Hi everybody, welcome to the next video in this series. This one is about flowers and pollination. So pollination is the word that we use to describe the process by which a plant can reproduce. If you think that pollination would have something to do with the yellow stuff in the middle of flowers that sticks to bees legs as they buzz around your garden, then you would be right. Uh, but there is definitely a lot more to it. So let's talk about that in a little bit more detail. So flowers can be spectacular. They're beautiful. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Um, some of them are beautiful colours. Some of them have patterns on the petals. Some of them are multicoloured. Some of them really, really stink. Some of them smell beautiful and some of them don't smell at all. Um, although your flowers will look lovely in a vase on your kitchen table, they do serve a more sophisticated purpose and that is of attracting a pollinator. Okay, so remember that I showed you this flower in the last video. This is a, I think it's a star lily, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that, boys and girls. Um, let me demonstrate what a pollinator does with this flower. So a pollinator is an animal. It's usually an insect, although it can be a bird or a mouse or a possum even. Um, that is attracted by the scent or the colour of the flower, um, which they come to the flower looking for um, some nectar or some pollen to have a nice little feast. Uh, while the animal is feasting, he's also collecting some nectar on some parts of his body. This one wouldn't be pollinated by an insect. This one would probably be pollinated by a small bird because the little bits of pollen on the end of the stamen are very far away from that delicious nectar down in the middle of that flower. So a small bird or animal or maybe an insect, a larger insect might come along, collect a little bit of this pollen on its legs or some part of its body. And as they move around to other flowers, they'll deposit that po pollen on the end of the pistil, which is the sticky part. Once they've done that, um, that's the first step in the process of pollination, transferring the pollen onto the pistil of usually another flower in the plant. Okay. So what happens next is actually pretty cool. Once the pollen has been taken from the stamen and deposited on the very top of the pistil, and we'll talk about all of these names of the different parts of the flower in more detail in class, um, an amazing thing happens. Once it reaches the top, that tiny little speck of pollen travels down this tube, this is called the style, and it travels all the way down into the base of the flower. And when it reaches down there, the flower, or the ovule, which is the tiny, tiny little seed that's going to develop down the bottom there, is fertilized. That means the plant has begun reproduction. Okay guys, thanks for watching this one. Um, I hope you got a little bit out of that and this flower was um, okay to look at. I couldn't find a better demonstration flower in the garden, so this was it. Alright, thanks guys. I'll see you in class. Bye!